So let me ask, yeah. can I ask a couple of questions before I have to sign off? Sure. Uh, what's the value proposition of the city going through the pg e versus this direction? And then where's the value add from your side for your firm in terms of providing a platform for it? So the, the you know, going through PGE, you're always going to go through PGE because they are the best source for the data, data itself. Right. Right. And you're in a very good position because PGE is fully behind the initiative and is ahead of the game of the initiative to many, many degrees. So with respect to the initiative and the utility, the utility is already bought in. So the value proposition to the city is to make sure that you're aware of the data availability. Um, so and to a certain degree, it's like you have a set of experts that know how to do it that can help your team move forward rapidly. The most difficult part of this is inventorying the buildings and outreach to the community. So once you've identified it through, through property records or, or whatever mechanism you have, who you should contact, um, you have to inform them and educate them. And that whole process is, is uh, uh, somewhat accelerated by materials that we've already prepared that would, would, get, would uh, jumpstart you in that arena as well. The value add to us, um, and I'll say us as Malka, is that we, we want to prove that this goes to scale. We're very happy to have, have accommodated one, two, three, uh, year and a half, six months, three months, but I want to go now five cities, ten cities, a thousand cities. So our, our real goal in the Malka team is to show that this scales. Uh, and as, as we mentioned, we've got support from Department of Energy to try to prove that. Uh, California is a great proving ground to do it. So if we can do a best practice. I just, I, I just want to jump in real quick there, John. Is yeah. that, that's where we're interested institutionally. Obviously, we, we have this great partnership with the city that I'd like to perpetuate. Mm -hmm. But once we prove it effective here, I'd like to be able to trot this out to rural areas that are Absolutely. under our service to purview. Yeah, totally. I mean, the whole the whole goal of MOC is, is to make this accessible and something that can leverage us to, to really a more sustainable future. So, I mean, we're obviously a for-profit com company and, and we will, you know, try to encourage you to find value and to, to, uh, to uh, compensate us for that value. But our goal in entering this market is not profit-driven, it's scale. And I think the opportunity in California is just, uh, it's just a better opportunity than, than it is in many other places because, uh, uh, because of your bills that we've talked about. Uh, the, the utilities being on, on board and data being available and such. And um, I, I think California is a real place to prove this scale. Yeah, I've, I've been working with the PG&E data team for the past six years now, actually. Um, and they have by far the best implementation of Green Button. And I would really like to prove that to the rest of the world, that there is a significant value in being able, in the end, to reduce your ener energy consumption by 50%. To bring your renewables online in an efficient and effective way to balance against your local consumption as well as your ability to resell them, but really to balance your local. Okay, hey, Preston Dixon, I would also close because I know we're running out of time that the right. value add to the students is really an incredible educational opportunity. A lot of the students are looking for ways to do big data, data analytics, and predictive analytics. These are real hands on examples of where it can be applied. And they provide a great resource to the city of Chico and obviously to this collaboration that goes far beyond just this one use case, but actually will apply across the board for a lot of energy uh, products. So it really is a, a big objective on the side of the STEM program to have something that's credible for students to stick their teeth into. And uh, obviously the relationship between the university and the city is very tight, and I think it'd be a great, a great opportunity to really utilize that university research. Dixon, thank you for acts. First, thank you for, for bringing the, the cat herd together.